here's another one right there she's growing good and I got little peppers on here and that's uh, of course the cucumber vine that you see right there that's growing that some dill and I do believe that is a poison ivy vine coming up there I wouldn't know of anything else it could be like that with a three leaf I didn't plant anything else in there I gotta get that out of there and here's some more little tiny tins and my basil what kind of basil is this it's uh, it's it's highly fragrant I know that I've got some rooting inside <clears throat> That I pulled out of the yard that was growing from a piece I had pulled out of a pot last year. So I took a chance and stuck it in this little pot and it's growing. Didn't mean to have all of this on my patio this year. I really wanted to do it different, but especially in the corner. Little cherry tomatoes. Yep, I see a red one under there. And they're turning on top. Quick walk here out to the garden area. Um, to see how things are doing. We had a lot of rain in one day and it was great. So everything is just taking off, greening up really well. The yard looks better. The grass is filled in. I'm not pouring stuff in the yard anymore. I can't see any point in it. It rains and greens up, and I'm just not doing it. It's fine. It always comes back. It's a good ground cover, right? Yep. Over there is looks cool and shady. And there's my garden. And off to see what's going on in there. Okay, I'll walk out to the garden area. Today is Sunday. Uh, it is too beastly hot to be out here walking. Look how huge. <coughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Those uh, okra leaves are right here. Here's one. It is huge. That would be one I could cast in sand and, you know, for cement um, bowls. Leaf bowls cast out of cement, should I say. And that, I just didn't know these would grow like this. Especially... Uh, these cow peas or black eyed peas in the crevices of the um, concrete blocks. Look at that one. That's huge. That cucumber, I'm going to have to come out here later when the sun goes down a little bit and stake that. It's wow. And the tomatoes. I hope they'll still do well. And look at those uh, green beans growing out of the cinder block crevices. Oh, wow. Hard to believe they did that well. Anyhow, that's enough for today of this. It is way too hot, and the pollen is terrible. Not tree pollen, but some kind of pollen, it said. Whew, inside I go. Share my bookmarks that I ordered off of Amazon. Uh, I wanted to try these. I've been wanting to try for a long time. Uh, these look like uh, bottle shapes. Some of them are canning jar shapes. And um, what you do is you take these little tabs and you take one where it says open and you put one like on that side and one on the front side and then you peel them apart to open up this plastic. One side of this uh, bookmark is going to be really sticky to hold the pressed flowers or whatever you choose to put in there. So you want to make sure you, you know you keep it even because it flops it can flop down uneven. I put a little weight on one end so it won't come apart. That way I can push it back up even and have it look halfway right. But these are my some of my flowers. 
I have more than that. Um, there they are. Quite a few, actually. I need to put those up. Oh, there's some. That's a rose leaf. Really upset about my rose. Um, how it just up and died. <laughs> Turned brown and shriveled up and died. But uh, anyway, those are my flowers. Here's one I made where you just push it in the center. I still prefer to laminate mine. I have a laminator and I make my own bookmarks that way because you can see with a little with the light on it right there. It's um, puffed up a little bit, but it's it's sealed in there really good. Um, but I still prefer the laminator. Where's the one Adlin made? Adlin made one, and hers is the prettiest. Um, a lot prettier than the one I did. Found it. This is the one Adlin made, and she, and she colored in the little heart. But she did a really good job. Really good job. That's the back side. Back side doesn't look too bad. But anyway, they would make a nice gift along with a book gift like one of these. Well, especially the flower one. So, but they came out of my garden. And it means a little bit of something to me. These little bookmarks would be cute. Will be sweet, actually, to give with a book like this that I uh, ordered. And I think this one's Better World Books. I order from Thrift Books and Better World Books. Anyway, it's got a lot of good ideas in here. Uh, wild grasses, how to dry. Uh, what is that one? Pressing grasses. All kinds of stuff. Um, pressing the flowers, framing, pressing poppies. Uh, I'm going to enjoy this. But these would make nice gifts. They really, it really would make nice gift um, for me <laughs> right now. And here's some. I like the way they hung those up in between the little rafters there. I need a, a drying shed or some kind of little shed. Hang drying, how to do that. Uh, it's just a neat book, and I think the um, bookmarks would be pretty pretty good for this. Not pretty, but uh, would go well with this as a gift. Another book I ordered is Sunday Dinner at Grandma's Gooseberry Patch. I always loved Gooseberry Patch. And let me tell you, her these recipes are the best. There's several cookbooks, but I ordered this one. Another Better World book, I believe it was. Country Goulash. It's got oh, so many easy down-home recipes. I love it. What is that one? Hearty Chicken Noodle. Um, so many good things in here. What is that? Zucchini bread. I'm not a big fan of zucchini bread unless it comes from Arby's. This is farmhouse pumpkin bread. I would try that. That sounds really good. A nice harvest bread for that time of year. Cut out, cutouts. I think that sounds good. Anyway, nice little book. Um, and I'm glad I got that. I want to show you this. Um, I made this a couple years ago. This is made from a begonia leaf I have on the side over there. And I believe it's called Heron's Pirouette. And these are huge leaves. Anyway, I uh, fat, made it out of cement. I turned it over on top of uh, damp sand to get the, you know, molded the sand to get the um, shape. And there you go. Then on the back side, I just put cement. I did put some other tape, uh, and I don't know what it's called. It's some kind of tape that molds to whatever you're making, like those beach balls before you put the cement on it. Um, anyway, that's on there, and then I just globbed up the cement, and I painted it. I do have a hole in it because I thought I might make me a little bird bath, and I still may, you know, I still may go to water to run through or have the tube run through. So that's it for today.